yeah, pun intended, key departments in the National Youth Service will undergo an extensive overhaul in the next one month in a move by Cabinet Secretary at the center of a corruption storm. Devolution Cabinet Secretary says an assessment of a ministry commissioned by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to carry out uh, and which coincidentally is investigating officials in her ministry has recommended far-reaching changes in key departments. Here is KTN News' Dennis Onsarigo with Waiguru's next move at the helm of the powerful ministry. For a cabinet secretary who survived two impeachment motions, defended by the highest office in the land and somehow managed to downplay a public outcry to step down, and Waiguru is back in the news. The cabinet secretary was playing host to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Her ministry had tasked the commission to carry out an assessment of the multi-billion corruption riddled National Youth Service, NYS. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission damning report dubbed NYS Risk Assessment Report it reveals that the agency has been engaged in procurement without an approved plan, opening loopholes for corruption. It was therefore an imperative that we assess the extent of exposure to risks of corruption and mismanagement and put in place measures that would mitigate against them. Davis must establish systems, policies, procedures and structures that enhance corruption prevention and ethical uh, conduct. The CS now says our ministry will carry out an extensive cleanup of the National Youth Service in the next one month. The challenges of recent months have made it painfully clear that there is still a lot of work to be done in streamlining operations and regaining the confidence that has been lost in the eyes of the public. But the report by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission is raising eyebrows. <laughs> The cabinet secretary has recently recorded a statement over the loss of millions of shillings at NYS after denying that not a single coin was lost. ESCC that our ministry commissioned to carry out a risk assessment of key departments at NYS is also part of the investigating team trying to unravel how more than 700 million shillings ended up in individual pockets. The cabinet secretary has also suspended several officials in our ministry, a move that has been questioned by anti-corruption crusaders. <laughs> the crusaders are questioning why Anwai Guru is suspending junior staff at NYS without express recommendations from the Directorate of Public Prosecutions. Unlike other cabinet secretaries who have been forced to step aside to allow state agencies to investigate their sins of commission or mission, Anwai Guru has stayed put. Overseeing your once decorated peel of the Jubilee administration that is now riddled with corruption allegations. Denson Sarigo, KTN News.